I know and I understand that every Christian, I see it when I'm at church, wherever I go, every Christian, everyone that goes to church, they believe I have the power. No weapon fishing against me shall prosper. Yeah, you can't touch me. You can't. Yeah, which is good. That is, that is actually the, the truth. But then again, one of the things that I'm always reminded of is some of these people, in fact, many, most of these people who are decreeing and declaring such, they are the ones who are provoking people. They are the ones who are starting people. And let me assure you, anybody that does that, the protection of the Lord, that script, those scriptures, in fact, they don't apply on you. But if indeed, before the eyes of the Lord, you are innocent, let me tell you, you are well protected. Be, be rest assured. If you are hated and you know you did nothing wrong, then be rest assured. You see, Saul was still a believer in the Lord, King Saul, as well as David was a believer in the Lord. But Saul looked at David as an enemy. And David, of course, he knew that now this man looks at me as an enemy and I have to flee from him. So, but God Almighty had already rejected Saul and he was with David. So you see how this happens. That is how two Christians, even today, they are, they are combating one another. That is why I want to tell you that those that come against you without knowing you spiritually, and once you are in the David side, you are like David, let me tell you, they won't touch you. So that's why some, when the Lord has decreed that anybody that fights against you, I shall curse. They are bound to be cursed. They are bound to be stricken with the hand of the Lord God Almighty because he has decreed. Only those that God does not recognize them. Like the Lord Jesus said, some you will say that uh, we have cast out demons in your name and Jesus will say, hey, away from me, you sinner. So it's like that. So don't you worry. Don't you be scared. When you feel like to some people it doesn't work though, there's people who are having their own things that they are not repenting from. And God does not know them. But then again, if you want to be sure, repent, be honest, tell the Lord to purify you and let the Lord I'll invite him to come guard your life, to protect you from the witches and the wizards. And let me tell you, nobody will touch you. Somebody, let me tell you, they are regretting coming up against you. And if you feel like your life has been under attack, do what I just told you right now. Repent and all and reinvite the Lord. When they come again, they will find you armed and they will regret performing magic against you without knowing your spiritual level at this present time. You are being lifted up. The anointing in your life is increasing and the protection of the Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details on the comment section below. See you next time.